For months, it was silent. The most distant human-made object in history, Voyager 1, drifted alone in the abyss, sending back nothing but gibberish. After 45 years of groundbreaking exploration, it seemed the journey had finally come to an end. Until now. Suddenly, the signal returned. Coherent, clear, impossible. And the data it brought has scientists stunned. A Nobel Prize-winning physicist issued a chilling warning. This changes everything. We may be looking at something that shouldn't exist. What has Voyager 1 found at the edge of interstellar space? Why are experts whispering that this could unlock the greatest cosmic mystery of all? Stay with us, because this isn't just a space mission. This could be the first message from the unknown. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was designed for a brief mission, perhaps a decade at most. Yet, it has endured for 45 years in the harshest environment imaginable. It soared past Jupiter, capturing images of its swirling storms and glided by Saturn, revealing its intricate rings. Then, propelled by gravity, it was flung outward, beyond the planet's reach, into the uncharted depths of deep space. What made this mission possible wasn't just brilliant engineering. It was a cosmic coincidence, a rare alignment of planets that occurs once every 176 years. This alignment allowed engineers to slingshot Voyager from one world to another, using gravitational assists to conserve energy and propel it farther and faster than anyone dared dream. They called it the Grand Tour, and it was a triumph. Now, Voyager 1 is over 14 billion miles from Earth, traveling in a realm where no human signal had ever reached, until it sent one back. And what it transmitted defies scientific understanding. After months of corrupted, unintelligible data, something changed. In early 2025, Voyager 1 began transmitting readable information again. But this time, the data wasn't just unusual, it was impossible. Scientists detected bizarre plasma fluctuations, inexplicable shifts in magnetic fields, and an unexpected surge in particle density. These readings don't align with anything ever measured in interstellar space. One physicist remarked, it's as if the spacecraft is no longer just outside the solar system. It's outside something else entirely. The orientation of cosmic rays and the direction of magnetic lines are misaligned, as if Voyager 1 has crossed into a new kind of space. No model of interstellar physics can explain these anomalies. It's as if the rules of reality are shifting bending in ways our science cannot yet grasp. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence fades and interstellar space begins, scientists expected a vast, empty void. But the data now paints a different picture. This region is far from empty. Voyager is detecting turbulence, plasma waves, and charged particle storms with no identifiable source. Even more perplexing are the gravitational anomalies. The spacecraft is drifting slightly, unexplainably, as if nudged by unseen forces. It's not being pulled by stars or colliding with asteroids. So what's causing this subtle but measurable motion? Some researchers propose that Voyager has entered a transitional zone, a liminal space between the known universe and something beyond a place where the laws of physics, as we understand them, may no longer hold sway. For years, the scientific community remained cautious, analyzing Voyager's data with skepticism. But a Nobel Prize-winning physicist recently broke the silence with a statement that sent ripples through the field. Voyager 1 is detecting patterns that cannot be reconciled with our current models of the universe we may be seeing evidence of another domain, another structure of space itself. He avoided the term dimension, but the implication was clear. 
Could Voyager 1 be brushing against the edge of a multiverse, a boundary of simulated space, or the outskirts of a cosmic construct we can't yet fathom? The idea, once confined to theoretical fringes, is now being whispered in the halls of academia. Among the new data, scientists discovered a rhythmic fluctuation, a pulse emanating from a region Voyager 1 recently traversed. This signal isn't random noise. It's structured, timed, and repeating with eerie precision. Initially, engineers dismissed it as interference or a fault in Voyager's aging instruments. But the pattern persisted, matching no known stellar phenomenon. It's not a pulsar, not a quasar, nor any familiar source of radiation. Then came a chilling realization. The pulse seems to respond. In certain windows, its intensity spikes slightly after Voyager's data bursts, as if something out there is listening and replying. This discovery has sparked heated debates. Is it a natural phenomenon we don't yet understand? Or could it be something more? A signal from an intelligence beyond our comprehension? An engineer decoding Voyager's transmissions made another startling observation. When visualizing the magnetic field variations as a three-dimensional model over time, a shape emerged. It wasn't random noise. It was a spiral framework, repeating with near-perfect symmetry. Some scientists now speculate this could be a gravitational lattice, a cosmic grid beyond our current understanding. Others venture further, suggesting it might be the signature of an artificial structure perhaps constructed by an advanced civilization far beyond our solar system or even our universe. The idea sounds like science fiction, but the data is real, and it has no precedent in astrophysics. Voyager 1 flew directly through this anomaly, and its instruments are still relaying the evidence. The implications are staggering. If Voyager 1 has stumbled upon a boundary, a structure, or a signal, it challenges everything we know about the cosmos. Some physicists propose that the spacecraft may be encountering a phase transition in space itself, where the fabric of reality shifts into a new state. Others speculate about a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many, and Voyager has grazed the edge of another. A few even entertain the idea of a simulated universe where the spiral lattice could be a glimpse of the underlying code. These theories, once dismissed as fanciful, are gaining traction as the data defies conventional explanations. The public's reaction has been a mix of awe and unease. On platforms like X, posts about Voyager 1's findings are trending, with users speculating wildly, from extraterrestrial contact to divine intervention. Scientists, meanwhile, are scrambling to verify the data. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which oversees the Voyager mission, has confirmed the anomalies but urges caution. We're dealing with a 45-year-old spacecraft operating at the edge of its capabilities, a spokesperson said, but the patterns are real and we're working to understand them. The challenge is immense. Voyager's power supply is dwindling and its nuclear battery may fail within the next few years, potentially silencing it forever before we can fully decipher its message. The Nobel laureate's warning lingers, this changes everything. If Voyager 1 has indeed detected evidence of a new domain, it could redefine our place in the cosmos. Are we on the cusp of discovering a multiverse? Have we intercepted a signal from an intelligence vast and unknowable? Or are we simply misunderstanding the chaotic nature of interstellar space? The answers remain elusive, but one thing is certain. Voyager 1, a relic of human ingenuity, has carried us to the edge of the unknown. Its faint signal, beaming across 14 billion miles, may be our first glimpse of a truth too vast to comprehend. As we await further data, the questions multiply. What lies beyond the heliopause? Is the pulse a message, a phenomenon, or a mirage? 
Could the spiral lattice be a natural formation, an artifact of an ancient civilization, or something stranger still? Voyager 1, with its outdated technology and fading power, has outlasted every expectation, becoming humanity's farthest-reaching emissary. Now, it may have delivered a discovery that transcends science, touching the very nature of existence. This is no longer just a mission. It's a confrontation with the infinite, a mystery that could redefine our understanding of reality itself.